If you had been building your website a few years ago, this is what your process would have looked like. You would have had to make changes to the code, update the website, and view it on the live website to see if the changes had taken place. But today, you have the option to build your website visually. The process looks exactly like the result, so what you see is what you get. This is made possible by page builders that simplify the process and make it accessible to everyone. And Elementor is easily one of the best page builders out there. With more than 5 million active installations and a near-perfect 5-star rating, you know you can rely on it to make good-looking web pages easily. So today, we'll learn how to use Elementor to build pages easily. If this video ends up being useful to you, please consider subscribing to our channel for more WordPress and WooCommerce related topics. Let's start by installing the Elementor plugin. In your WordPress dashboard, hover your mouse pointer over the Plugins tab and click on Add New. In the search bar in the top right, search for Elementor. Click Install. Then activate the plugin. We see that a new tab called Elementor has been added to our dashboard. Click on the Settings section to set it up. Under the General section, you can select the post types that can be edited with Elementor. You can also disable default Elementor's default colors and fonts to force it to inherit colors from your existing theme. Below, you can enable data sharing with Elementor. In the Advanced section, you can manage CSS print method, switch editor loader method, and other settings that are focused on developers. In the Role Manager section, you can choose which roles on your websites can edit using Elementor. For example, if we enable the No Access to Editor option for the Contributor role, anybody contributing to your website won't be able to use the Elementor editor. The Tools section has options like Library Syncing, Safe Mode, Update Site Address, Rollback Version, Beta Testing, and Maintenance Mode. The System Info section displays information about your website's system and WordPress environments. While the Getting Started and Get Help sections can be used for accessing guides and assistance. Let's start building a page with Elementor. Hover over the Pages section and click on Add New. Here, give the page a title. Then click on the Edit with Elementor button at the top. This is the Elementor page builder screen. This is the editing area where you can add and edit the widgets visually. This is the widgets area from where you can drag and use different types of widgets like text sections, headings, images, videos, and buttons. Below the widgets area, we have a few options. The first option is the settings button to access the overall page settings. We can change the title and status of the page, set a featured image, hide the title, and select a page layout. In the Style tab, you can set a background for your overall page. We can choose from a single color background, a static image background, or a gradient background. The Advanced section has a custom CSS feature to let you add CSS code to any widget. The next option is the Navigator. It shows the different types of elements we've used on the page and helps you find and edit them easily. Besides that, the History option shows us the past actions and revisions made on this page so we can easily fix our mistakes. The Responsive Mode option gives us three choices. Desktop, Tablet, and Mobile. You can use them to make sure your website looks and works just as well on all screens. The Preview option lets you see how the live page would look without having to publish the page. Above the Widgets area are two buttons. The hamburger menu takes us to some more settings and navigation options. Click on Site Settings. In the first two settings, you can set global colors and fonts that will be used for all new elements. You should set your brand's colors and fonts here so that they're easy to use. In the Theme Style section, you can set the default settings for headings, buttons, images, and form fields. Finally, the Settings section gives you some more options for site identity, background, layout, and other settings. When you're done, click on the cross icon to go back to the widgets area. 
A typical Elementor page is made up of several sections arranged vertically. These sections are made up of columns, and these columns can have multiple widgets inside them. To start building your page, click on the plus icon and select the structure of the section. With the entire section selected, you can now customize it. In the layout part of the edit section, we can determine the layout parameters like width, gap, height, and vertical alignment. In the style tab, we can add different types of backgrounds like classic, gradient, video, and slideshow. Let's keep the yellow colored classic background. You can also add a background overlay, border, shape divider, and other topography features. The advanced section gives you margin and padding settings, motion effects, responsive options, attributes, and custom CSS features. We can now start adding widgets to the columns. Click on this icon on the top right to go back to the widgets area. Let's add an image to the right column. We can customize the image using these three tabs. Click on the Choose Image option and upload the image from your computer. Next, go to the Style tab and change the width and height settings for the image. Now, let's go back to the widgets area and drag and drop a text editor next to the image. Select the placeholder text and replace it with your own. We can play around in the topography options under the style section until we find something we like. In this way, we can add sections, columns, and widgets to build our blog. But we can also use templates to speed up the process. We'll build a new page using block templates. Click on the folder icon. Then, at the top, switch over to the Blocks section. Use the search bar to look for the block you need. Browse the results to see which one you like. Then, click on the Insert button below it to bring it over to your page. You'll get a prompt to connect your website to the Elementor template library. Click on Get Started. Then click on Create an account and supply an email and a password. Click on Create Account. When we click on Connect, our selected template is imported to our page. After importing, you can easily edit the elements to make it your own. Similarly, you can add and edit other blocks to complete your page. Instead of individual blocks, you can also import entire page templates. Click on the folder icon and go to the Pages section at the top. Use the search bar to find the type of page you want. Then browse the results and import one. After importing the page, you can edit the content to make it your own. With these features, you can build a good-looking website easily. If you want to make the process even easier, you can check out Elementor Pro. With a premium plan, you'll get access to many more widgets, templates, and integrations. And you can even add custom fonts and global widgets. Check out LearnWoo.com for more articles, videos, and resources related to WordPress and WooCommerce. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media channels. And do let us know in the comment section if you want us to cover a specific topic or if you have any ideas or suggestions.